there are some intri intriguing matchups for Division One men's tennis, and I'll give so, some of the match calculus. Granted, there's multiple pathways to four points. Number seven, Michigan, at number two, uh, Ohio State, with the doubles point. Michigan needs to do the following singles, like split the top two, four, and five. Without the doubles point, Michigan has to split the top two, split split the top two, four, five, and six. For Ohio State, with the doubles point, split the top two, three, and six. Without the doubles point, split the top two, three, five, and six. This is a critical match right here. Because both teams are undefeated in the Big Ten right now. And it might decide who's going to win the Big Ten. Number 18, North Carolina at number 8, Wake Forest. With the doubles point for North Carolina, they need to split the top two, four, and six in singles. But without the doubles point, North Carolina has to split the top two, three, four, and six. With the doubles point for Wake Forest, they need to split the top two, three, and five. Without the doubles point, Wake Forest needs to split the top two, three, five, and six. Number 21, Texas A&M at number 9, South Carolina. They need for Texas A&M with the doubles point. Split the top two, four, and six. Without the doubles point, they need to split the top two, three, four, and six. For South Carolina with the doubles point, they need to split the top two, three, and five. Without the doubles point, South Carolina needs to split the top two, three, four, and five. Number 19, Duke at number 20, NC State. With the doubles point for NC State, they need to split the top two, four, and five in singles. But without the doubles point, NC State needs to split the top two, four, five, and six. With the doubles point for Duke, they need to split the top two, three, and six. Without the doubles point for Duke, they need to split the top two, three, five, and six. Number 23, Pepperdine at number 22, San Diego. With the doubles point for Pepperdine, they need to split the top two, three, and five in singles. Without the doubles point, Pepperdine needs to split the top two, three, four, and five. With doubles point for San Diego, they need to split the top two, four, and six. With that out, the doubles point, San Diego needs to split the top two, three, four, and six. Number 21, Texas A&M at number 30, Florida. With the doubles point for Texas A&M, they need to split the top two in singles. It's top two, five, and six in singles. Without the doubles point, Texas A&M needs to split the top two, four, five, and six. With the doubles point for Florida, they need to split the top two, three, and four. Without the doubles point, Florida needs to split the top two, three, four, and six. Number 19, Duke at number eight, Wake Forest. With doubles point for Wake Forest, they need to split the top two, three, and six. Without the doubles point, Wake Forest needs to split the top two, three, four, and six in singles. Without With the doubles point for Duke, with the, the doubles point for Duke, they need to split the top two, four, and six in singles. Without the doubles point, they need to split the top two, four, five, and six. Number 18, North Carolina at number 20, NC State. With the doubles point for North Carolina, they need to split the top two, three, and six. Without the doubles point, though, North Carolina needs to split the top two, three, four, and six. With the doubles point for NC State, they need to split the top two, four, and five. Without the doubles point, though, NC State needs to split the top two, four, five, and six. That's just some naming some matchups out there that are very intriguing. And so you could tell there's a bunch of ACC matches. And this is the one of the last regular season matches left before the conference tournaments start in some conferences. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's get me up to 400 subscribers more by the end of this year.